Welcome to Shin Megami Tensei 4. This is going to be the next playthrough, I guess. And honestly, I don't think I really need to introduce this game much at all. Uh, there have been a lot of requests for this one, so I've already gone into the settings, played around with the audio, and there's nothing else to do, so let's just get started. The story is a work of fiction. Oh, and yes, this game is on the 3DS, however, I am emulating it through the PC to make things a little easier for myself. And I will be changing the layout once we get into the game so that you can see the bottom screen. Eli, Eli, Lemasapatani! Many awaken from their slumber within the Earth's soil. The lion's roar has drowned out the great eagle. The horn pierces the heavens. Planets are trampled upon as they descend on the earth. Mini, mini, tekel you farsin. Who are you? State your name. Um, okay. I, I guess my name is Flynn. Yeah. Flynn is my name. <laughs> he has spoken. Your life is now irrevocably changed. The choices you make will no longer bear only on you. What you do will create a world. All right. Oh, so there you are. Hey, over here. We've got voice acting. Like, in the game. Oh, and I get to move around. Nice. Um, so I guess we're Flynn, and this looks almost post-apocalyptic, as is kind of the tradition, I suppose. There is nothing on the bottom screen right now, so... I'm gonna keep this full screen for now, just so you guys can get a better view. We finally made it. Now I can take shape too. Who might you be? I was fighting damn hard when I waited for you to show up. He's got a sword on his side. You do remember me, right? Um, actually, right. no. I'm Walter. Oh, okay. Hello, Walter. Whatever happens after this, you better not forget me. Because you and me are going to make a world where anything can be changed if you have the will. We're gonna create a world. Well, I guess that's not the first time we've tried doing something like that. Thank goodness you're here. Please come quick. All right, it looks like there's another person. I don't think this is Walter. It's like we're warping to different locations. Good, you've come. Now I can take shape too. And 
Who are you? I prayed and waited, longing for the day you'd come. You remember who I am, right? Uh, right. Yes, you are... That's right. My name is Jonathan. You're Jonathan. I knew. I knew that. You mustn't forget that my future is with you. Okay. The two of us are going to make a world where the peace we know today lasts forever. Oh. Is this another kind of nocturne like thing where uh, different people are trying to make different worlds? Do I have to choose between Jonathan and Walter? <laughs> Please, won't you revive me? Um. I could if I knew how to. Hey, hey, wake up. If we're not on our way soon, we'll be late. Oh, okay. L let me just open my eyes here. Who's this? Is this Walter? Are you awake? <laughs> I admit, I fell asleep too. Hello. We've spent so many days out here at Lake Mikado, after all. When I thought about this being our last nap here, I couldn't bear to rouse myself. So I don't want to hear, you promised to wake me up, Issachar, eh? Issachar. Okay, you're not, Walter. Trat, but now's not the time to argue. We must hurry to the gauntlet right. Oh, okay. We're going to... The gauntlet right. Flynn arrived in the castle town with Issachar. Here at last. It's such a long trip from the village. The city is so big. I don't think I could even hazard a guess as to where they might hold the right. Maybe we can ask someone. Uh, uh, sir? Excuse me? What is it? Well, uh, us two, um... We have come for the right, and, uh... A casualty, rat. The gauntlet right, you say? Seek it yourself. Oh, okay, dude. Though what the well hell? begin preparing now for your journey home. <laughs> um, thank you? Yeah, I'm just gonna put it on auto, because... Or... Seems the tales I'd heard of the Lushers snoot under shot and mark. But no matter, we'll find someone else to ask. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't ask someone who's so elegant looking. Alright, so now there's the bottom screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to 
look there and this is the layout for probably most of the game so you can see the bottom screen on the top right there uh, hopefully this is clear enough if this if you guys can see a problem with this I will fix it as we continue on with the game but um yeah, so this game apparently does have a harder mode called Master Mode. However, Master Mode is locked behind New Game Plus, which means I have to complete the game before I can actually play it in Master Mode, kind of similar to Digital Devil Saga 1. Um, and because of that, even if I got a save that had master mode unlocked apparently some of the compendium and stuff gets carried on to the second playthrough which means a lot of the stuff is going to get spoiled for me so i decided i'm just going to play this on default mode i will do as little grinding as possible like i did with dds1 and we're just going to enjoy the game but i guess we are inside the eastern kingdom of mikado and we need to look for where the right is going to take place. So our options are the Luxurer District 1, where the samurai and the king's other servants, as well as the monks, live. Luxurer District 2, the residence of luxurers with specialized skills and know-how. Casualry District, the residence of many casualries who make their living as tradesmen the residents of many casualties who work as manufacturers and those who work in agriculture nearby the fields. Finally, we have Mikado Castle, which contains numerous facilities. Okay, why don't we just start from the top of the list then? I can talk to a quiet man, a loud woman, or a slant-eyed man. Pretty sure the slant-eyed man has the same model as the elegant man we talked to earlier. So I'm gonna say no to that. Loud woman. I think she'll be more trouble than it's worth. So let's talk to the quiet man first. Hmm. Ah, are you lost? This is a... Crap, I need to turn the auto off. Of all the lands of the Eastern Kingdom of Mikado, we luxurers only live inside this castle. I won't forbid you to come here exactly, but I would prefer you to keep to the town's unwritten rules. Okay, so you're saying we are too poor looking to be here. Cool. Cool. Alright, let's give you a try. Hi. There haven't been any new samurai for years now. I wonder if the gauntlets will accept anyone this year. Okay. I kind of liked how this game so far has a more Japanese feel to it. Eastern Kingdom of Mikado, we got samurais going on. Hello! Is this your first time in the castle town? You're here for the right, aren't you? Is Aquila Statue Plaza where you want to be? You can feel the kingdom's rich history all around you there. Alright, thank you. So we need to go to Aquila Statue Plaza. Unfortunately, I don't know where that is, so let's keep going down the list. Sure, let's talk to the arrogant man who looks like he's... He's like a clown or something. What was this year in the Gregorian calendar? What year was it? I met my wife for the first time in- Ah! It must be 1492 by the Gregorian calendar now. Oh. Okay, I'm not even going to comment on that. <laughs> I was born a luxurer. My unborn child will be a luxurer, as will all his descendants. In the Eastern Kingdom of Mikado, we are all born to a purpose that God has given us unto our last descendant. Okay, so there's this underlying understanding that everyone is born into their positions here, which kind of explains why we have these luxury districts and why the... Um, 
the quiet man or whatever the first guy that we talked to was saying how basically we don't belong there and it kind of if I look at the map it kind of looks like the entire city is tiered so like the higher you are all the way in the Mikado castle the more like royal you are or elite and then as you go down I guess this is when we start getting to the working class and the peasants all right we got a patrolling samurai hmm today is like any other peaceful day in the eastern kingdom of Mikado no sign of conflicts or strife there were a few, but the usual skirmishes, of course, but nothing like what a samurai might face elsewhere. Okay. Hello! Hello! Are you two here for the gauntlet ceremony? Then you'll want to go inside Mikado Castle and make for the Aquila Statue Plaza. Alright, thank you. That's what I was looking for. So. Um, I will go there, but I do want to check out the other districts first and talk to everyone. Hello. Anyone who comes of age at 18 must undergo the ceremony at Mikado Castle. I was born and raised here, so it was a short trip for me, but it must be a chore for those who live very far away. Okay, so this is like the royal city, almost. So even though they call this the Eastern Kingdom of Mikado, there's a lot of area that it encompasses outside of these walls and apparently everyone has to come to the capital for their coming of age ceremony ah. if you become a blessed blessed samurai you'll be counted as a luxury too what a boon that must be though i'm satisfied being a casualty myself it's the station in life god has given me okay and the craftsman. Today is that ceremony, right? That means there will be a whole mob of people coming to Mikado Castle. I'd best pick up the pace on my work, shouldn't I? Ah uh, well, I'm not paid to use my brain. The luxurious can do the thinking for me. So, just now, even though we haven't done much and we've only talked to a few people, I'm getting some good world building already. And just, I'm starting to understand why we might need to go to the plaza. I'm guessing we're doing this coming of age ceremony too. Hello. The Eastern Kingdom of Mikado is fine as ever. Work is going well, no changes from yesterday. I thank God and our king for granting us such a wonderful day. I haven't seen your face around here. Which village are you? Oh, yes. The right. Is it that time of year again already? Alright. Ah. It's thanks to the luxurers that we in the Eastern Kingdom of Mikado can live in peace. King Ahazuya of Mikado and the monks of the monastery, I pray every day in the castle's direction to show my thanks. Oh. You pray to the castle? Or am I getting the sense that royalty is even re revered to as like their deities almost? Alright, so we want to go to Aquila Statue Plaza, but uh, since that is where we want to go to, obviously we're going to go there last. An epigraph is carved on the obelisk. Will you read it? Of course. Which part would you read? Alright. The War of Angels and Demons. In ancient times, this land was shared by angels and those blessed by God. One day, the unclean ones emerged from the underworld and decided of their own mind to live here. I'm assuming the unclean ones would be referring to the demons? Or the unclean ones summoned demons, and the angels knew they could not be allowed to go unchecked. 
fearing the power of the angels sent by God, the unclean ones retreated to the underworld from whence they came. Thus were the land blessed by God, and the people who dwelt there protected by angels. Right! This is a mere fairy tale. Angels and demons are the stuff of legend, not history. True, true. In the long ago war of angels and demons, one soldier stood with the angels. Like the unclean ones, this soldier summoned demons, but he did so to combat the, de the demonic hordes. With this power, the soldier forced the demons into the underworld and sealed the path to their country. This soldier was the first samurai, as well as the first monarch of the eastern kingdom of Mikado, Aquila. King Aquila's great achievement is the reason why samurai are even today the cornerstone of our defenses. Hmm? Yes, a samurai. When I am made a samurai, then I too shall be... Shall be what? In the first year of the Gregorian calendar, King Aquila established the Eastern Kingdom of Mikado in this land. The king built a castle in the sealed land and prayed to God. His subjects, following his example, prayed as well. Under God's watchful eye, the people were guaranteed equality and peace everlasting. Right. Luxurers and casualties. We may be of different classes, but we're all equals inside. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if the luxurers feel the same way, though. So, it does seem like there is, in fact, a god. So, I guess when the lady said she was praying towards the castle, it wasn't so much as praying to the nobles, but, you know, praying to god almost... for the nobles, if that makes sense. Oh, this just takes me back. Okay. Hmm? Hmm? There's a crowd at the plaza. Could this be where the rite is to take place? Boy, Flynn, should we have a closer look? Well, yeah, let's go and see. The youth are forming a queue. Those who have come for the gauntlet rite, form up here. You must abide until your turn. This is it. We're finally here. Hey, do you know, I heard a curious thing from the elders at our village. Mm -hmm. Those who pass the rite and become samurai must live in Mikado Castle. Oh, really? As I heard it, they can't even go back to their hometown, unless it's for a mission. Well, I mean... I guess samurais hold the highest honors here, so... This could be farewell for us. A young man is walking out of the plaza, having completed the rite. Those who fail must leave at once! The gauntlet didn't shine for me. I know this rite is a dog and pony show, but the kingdom says to do it, so I go along. The disconsolate young man left Aquila Statue Plaza. I will become a samurai. I'm definitely going to be a samurai. A samurai and a luxurer at that. Oh, so you're not born into your luxurer role. I got that completely wrong. Next candidate, step forth. Unless it's an exception for samurai, because they are so highly regarded. That's my cue. Here I go to become a samurai. Just know, you'll always be my friend. Okay, dude, you're acting as if I'm gonna fail. Unless I'm not taking this right, and I'm just here to accompany this guy. Issachar proceeded to the center of the plaza. After some time. Next candidate, come forth! Oh. Talking to you there! Hurry up and head to the square! He didn't come back. 
I walked over to the center of the plaza. Issachar walked away wistfully. What's the matter? It's your turn next, isn't it? Go on. Welcome, young man. Will the gauntlet choose you to be a samurai? Let us begin the right. Present to me your left arm. All right, extend my arm. The monk gently affixed the gauntlet to Flynn's arm. God Almighty, if this young man in my sight is to receive the gift of becoming a samurai, please bestow your light upon this mystic gauntlet. Now, young man, touch the gauntlet. Okay, there's something going on. Oh, I guess I gotta use my mouse here. Mystic script has appeared on the gauntlet. The gauntlet has accepted this man as its owner. Birth of a new samurai. I like how that mystic script. You are now a samurai. I like how that mystic script was just Japanese. And uh I couldn't see it very well because of my screen, but I'm pretty sure it said registration complete in Japanese. So hope. Please show him to the residence hall. I'm sorry? Do you not understand that I am here on Abbot Hugo's behalf? Okay. There is no need to cross. I have heard you. Follow me. Uh, why? Oh, hey, dude. Looks like I got chosen. And you didn't. Flynn followed Hope out of the plaza. I am Hope, head of the samurai. From today on, you will dwell in this room. Oh. As a member of our band, okay. you will work on the behalf of this kingdom alongside the rest of we samurai. Though you've just been inducted, your practical training will begin tomorrow morning. I suggest you rest early tonight to recover from your journey. You'll get more details tomorrow. All right. We decided to retire to bed early. My mind was a whirlwind of thoughts.
about my life until now, my family and friends. Uncertainty regarding the new life suddenly thrust upon me, the high expectations. But soon, I sunk into slumber. Next morning. Oh, were you still asleep? Don't mind me barging in. I like the nice touch with him blinking his eyes open. <laughs> I'm no burglar if that's what you're thinking. I'm a bona fide samurai. Are you now? I became one yesterday, just as you did. <laughs> Why is your shirt open? My name's Walter. Oh, you're Walter. I heard that you came from the casualties too. Uh, yeah. I think I came from the outskirts, actually. That's why I came to introduce myself. It's good to meet you, brother. Same to you, brother. By the by, uh, have we met somewhere before? I think I saw you in a dream. Uh, I will say possibly. <laughs> no, <laughs> of course we haven't. Um, okay. That was only a dream. I'm imagining things. Uh, pay me no mind. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it was just a dream. You're heading to the practical training too, right? I'll That's what I was told. And uh, I'll see you at the entrance to Naraku. Alright. I guess we'll go to... So the, our barracks is where we rest. Can I head to the shops? I see that you're working hard. Ah, blessed samurai. Unfortunately, I am still not yet ready to open shop. All will be in readiness shortly, so please come again soon. Ah. Okay. I'm guessing these are all shops. This looks like a tavern. A samurai in the tavern speaks to you. Greetings! You must be one of our new fellows. Let me give you some advice from a master. You should return here after you finish your training exercises. The training exercises are a rite of passage for all samurai. I wish you luck, my young fellow. Heavy facility. Where do you think you're going? Hmm. It seems I made a wise decision going on a walk because I was bored. Uh, I mean, taking the time to patrol. There's no need for you to find out what is beyond there. You must leave at once. Okay. Alright, let's go meet Walter at the Naraku entrance array. Other new samurai recruits are gathered in the Quilla Statue Plaza. Didn't they just say, like, it's been a really, really long time? since we've had any new samurai and suddenly we got like five what's this i see are you apprentice samurai too yes but look who's talking come to that who are you i am navar navar this marks the third time i've said as much <clears throat> let's see walter i presume <laughs> You two are our last arrivals. It seems casualties tend to be dawdlers. I find this cause for some concern. Don't you think so, Jonathan? Navar, uh, I believe that's enough. We're all apprentices here after all. You're going to give him a bad impression of us luxurers. Okay. What? That's rather cutting of you, isn't it, Isabeau? So we've got three luxurers and two casualties. Huh. You may be a luxurer, but uh, I think we'll get along fine. <laughs> I don't know about that. Isabeau. You've been quiet, though. That's a really weird name. Isabeau addressed to Flynn. My name is Isabeau. What's yours? Uh, I'm Flynn. Huh? <laughs> That's the name from my dream. 
You know, you have the same name as someone from my dream, too. Oh, sorry. Never mind me. I think they had a different voice, though. Interesting. I'm Jonathan. I look forward to working alongside you, my fellow Prentice. So you're all here, then? Ah, uh, the commander's here. You five are the successful candidates from this year's Gauntlet Rite. Five? People came from all over the kingdom and only five were chosen? I thought it's been a long time since any were chosen. Did I read that wrong? I got the un... I was under the impression that, like, I guess previous years no one was chosen and stuff, and that's why someone commented on that, but maybe I got it wrong. Are you truly so surprised? Five is a much bigger crop than usual. Okay, okay. Cut the chit-chat, Navarre. What? Oh, I was hardly the only... We will now begin your practical training. Henceforth, you will all be making forays into Naraku. Naraku? If I recall correctly, that is reportedly the place where demons... Demons? Are we going to be f slaying some demons? You're Jonathan, yes? You seem very well informed. My father never would reveal to me the samurai's true mission. So, it involves vanquishing demons. Your father never revealed it to you. All I did was read the epitaph and I knew that. Today you will enter Naraku and receive basic samurai training as you battle demons. You will be given a small stipend to prepare yourselves, as well as a few common supplies. Sweet. Okay. Uh, they gave us 300 maka. And healing water times five. There are shops here in the square that handle what you'll need. Each of you will enter Naraku as soon as you're ready. I'll be in touch by and by with the details of the exercise. Sounds good. You're all dismissed. Go and make yourselves ready for training. All right. As per usual, this is going to be a longer first episode because I want to get some action going. I want to see what this combat is going to be see like. You're working hard. Young Samurai, please feel free to call me Q. It would please me if my shop's weapons and armors were of use to you. Welcome, blessed Samurai. All right, let's take a look at this. All right. So, we are weak to fire, resistant to ice, we know light. Interesting. And I can... I guess I'm using a samurai sword. Um, I clearly don't have the money to buy anything, but nice to see. So let's see. Equipment has physical, 67 times 1 hits. Interesting. So different weapons can hit multiple times. For example, this Cursed Lance has 1 to 3 hits. I guess it's a roll. Target one enemy, target multi-enemies. And then we got sword effect. Physical hit percent low. That means this one misses a lot, even though it's super powerful, I guess. And then this targets multiple enemies. I guess it spears like through the front and back rank. And then it's spear. Cool. If there's anything I can do for you. We learned a lot. And we also have head armor, body armor, lower armor, and accessories. Uh, what's happening? Okay, I fixed the problem that I was having earlier. Um, it seems one of my keybinds were... was a little awkward, so... Alright, why don't we head into Naraku entrance? Hello there! You've come, newly chosen one. Past here is Naraku, the cavern of evil, where the demons from the fables you've heard exist in the flesh. Have you come fully prepared with, with weapons, armor, and supplies at the ready? 
Absolutely not. Hmm. Then go and face the training exercises, and try not to be slain. I bought nothing. Um, the atmosphere here is unlike any you've felt before in your life. You feel a chill creep slowly down your spine. Okay. Let's see, is there a menu? No, I can't access the menu yet. However, I can attack things, so it looks like I'm probably gonna have to sneak attack a couple things. What was that? Is that a save point? Go forth, fellow samurai. Those who descend these stairs and live to climb them again will be renowned as heroes. So the sign says. Well done, fellow samurai. In your fight against the demons, rest at the barracks and heal the day's wounds. So the sign says. Okay. What's this here? Alright. Let's just go down. I'm sure we'll be fine. I mean, they say there's demons, but I highly doubt demons actually exist. Praise be to the brave samurai, and let us mourn our comrades who have fallen before achieving their goals. So the sign says. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Beware the appearance of demons, so the sign says. Is every sign going to say, so the sign says? The gauntlet suddenly began to emit a light. Something appeared on the gauntlet's LCD monitor. Hello, human. Hello. I'm Burroughs, a navigational AI. Okay. I've acknowledged you as my user. It's good to meet you. This is Hope speaking. I'm scrying on all of your positions through Burroughs. I see you're all in Naraku now. Let me explain your first training exercise. You must begin by learning the basics of combat through battle with demons. Fighting demons is a necessary skill for samurai. Your task is to defeat a demon inside Naraku. Any demon will do. Any demon? Burroughs, the sprite who dwells in that gauntlet will support you. That is all for now. You should commence your training at once. All right. I can explain how my interface works. You want me to? Yes, please. The menu is now enabled on the bottom screen. There you can view your status, use items, and other important functions. While in the field, you can access the menu by pressing the Y button. As you progress, more menu features will be unlocked. Thank did you. Did you get all that? I did. Make sure you save, just in case. I will. You can save or load from your menu screen. To save or load, select Burrows from the menu screen and then choose save or load there. Did you get all that? Yes, yes, I did indeed. That's all the support I have for now. Until next time, Master. Thanks, Burrows. All right, Burrows. so now we got ourselves a save menu. Does this mean I can save anywhere? That would be really, really helpful. Except for the fact that I only get two saves. Oh no. Okay, so we have a party of four and we have a stock zero of eight. I'm getting the feeling that this is going to be like Nocturne, and we actually get demons then. Because the epitaph did say the samurai used demons to slay other demons. That actually gets me really excited, if that's the case. I missed that in DDS, uh, though having party members was nice. Okay, we got skills. Nope. Let's make sure we're equipped. Okay. I don't think I have anything. Just making sure. Our items. Relics. Okay. And we got the skills. 
All right, let's go in. I want to fight something. Yes, please. If you touch an enemy on the field, you will enter battle against it. You can strike the enemy with the X button before it touches you, and you can begin the battle with a preemptive attack. However, certain important battles will not let you gain a preemptive strike. Did you get all that? Yes, Burrows, I got that. I'm sorry, Master, but I completely forgot. Master Hope mentioned an important detail of this training exercise. I'll register this as a quest to defeat a demon. Would you like me to provide an explanation of quests? <sighs> Burrows. Fine. The quest icon has been added to the menu on the lower screen. You can now see the details of your quest there. Burrows will automatically register important objectives there. By completing these quests, the story will unfold. Did you get all that? Yes. I have a feeling this is going to be a very common occurrence. This is the first training exercise. The samurai must learn to deal with battle demons. Your target may be any demon you find. Until next time, Master. A human. A human is here. You never learn. You were a fool to venture into our nest of evil. I hope you are prepared to die at the hands of a demon. Okay. Nine and eight. Cool. Would you like? Yes, I would. Your team's turn will now begin. Look at the upper right corner. The green icon displayed here shows the number of times you can act this turn. Press turn icons. Okay, so like Nocturne. It's currently one icon showing that you can act once, select attack to attack the enemy. Alright. Let's attack. I can attack Lom Jerg or the Slime. I imagine the Slime has less HP. However, Slimes tend to be... Apparently this slime is weak to physical, so cool. You damaged the enemy and struck its weakness as well. Look at the press turn icon. It should be shining brightly, indicating that you can act once more. By attacking an enemy by attacking with an element the enemy is weak against, a normal icon will begin to shine and you can act once more. In this case, because the slime was weak to the physical element of Flynn's normal attack, the icon shined and you can act once more. Alright. Hopefully this will take the slime out. There we go. You have no more icons, blah blah blah. Yes. I guess because this game was on the 3DS, there's a... a lot of tutorials. I'm not going to read all this because this seems to be the same as the other games. Mm -hmm. It's, yeah, just talking about missing and nulling and other weaknesses. We've got all that. Alright, right now... Not much for us to do except to attack. And he seems to be doing 9 damage each time. We've been doing 20 each time too. So it looks like this game doesn't use um, damage rolls. And just... There's a flat damage... Sorry amount of damage you, we can I do. I have some good news for you, Master. Uh-huh. Do you want to hear what it is? I'm assuming it's the l number 2 next to LV. Yeah, please tell me. When Flynn gains levels, his stats can be strengthened. Leveling up earns you stat points, which you can distribute as you see fit. How you distribute them is up to you. 
There are five stats. Strength, Dexterity, Magic, Agility, and Luck. Strength relates to the strength of your normal attacks and physical skills. Dexterity relates to the strength of physical and gun skills. Okay. Oh, so there's a new element. Magic relates to the strength of your magic skills. Agility relates to the hit rates of your attacks, your evasion rate, turn order, and escape a success rate. And then luck relates to things such as critical hit rate and recovery rate from status ailments. Did you get all that? I did. Until next time, Master. Alright. Whew. I mean, I'm always going physical gun attacks. That's interesting. I don't know how strong gun attacks are going to be in this game. I'm always going physical. Should I go magic this time? Should I do a magic playthrough? Yeah, let's do some magic. This might be a terrible decision, but let's do some magic. Why not? Obtained 10 app points. Can I redeem them? That was so impressive that I would swear it wasn't your first battle. You're hot stuff, Master. Alright. I also have good news for you. You've earned some app points. Do you want an explanation of how app points work? Yes, I actually don't know what they are. As you gain levels, you will receive app points. These allow you to enhance Burrow's capabilities. App points are used to unlock various features pre-programmed into Burroughs. The app menu has been added to Burroughs in the main menu and you can purchase new apps there. Unlocking apps will confer many kinds of benefits on your journey. Did you get all that? Yes. This is Hope speaking. You finished your task, I see. Well done surviving that. Thank you. Congratulations on completing the quest. Awesome. Complete. And we get Maka and 31 XP for doing so. But it's too early to celebrate now. I have the details of your next quest. You must learn the basics of communing with demons. Uh-huh. A samurai must know more than combat. Oh, uh, do we get to talk to them? At times he must treaty with demons to recruit them to his side and strengthen his forces. Hell yeah. You must acquire demon allies. The types of demon don't matter. That's all for now. Get back to your training. Oh, that's I'll exciting. That is a new quest on the list. I will let you guys know I know nothing about this game coming in. So I didn't even know that we would be able to recruit demons. I saw like three people on the cover art and I just assumed it was going to be like DDS. There's an app that you'll definitely need for your next quest. It's called Scout. Want me to explain how Scout works? Oh my god, Burroughs, fine. Scout has been added to Burroughs' app list. If you use Scout, you can talk with demons during battle and persuade them to become your allies. Once they are your allies, the demons will be at your command in battle. Did you get all that? Yes. I'll leave the details of acquiring new Burroughs apps with you, in case. Open the Burroughs section of the main menu and select app. Did you get all that? Oh my god. <laughs> Until next time, Master. Oh. Alright. Let's go get that scout app. What should we do, Master? Yeah, I want to purchase that. All right, well, I'm going to, it's been almost an hour, I'm going to end the episode here, and next time we are going to persuade one of these demons to join our party. But until then, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!